reply to your letter of the 14th, I shall be in your neighborhood soon to inspect the Shady Rest Hotel for a possible convention. A convention? Gee, that's terrific. Now do you suppose we can get that new set of encyclopedias? Puppy Joe, we haven't even landed it yet, and you've got the money spent. Mom, you're a cinch to get it. Sure, you just need confidence. You're going to need more than confidence. He is also considering the Pixley Hotel. The Pixley, Pixley Hotel? Hotel. Mm-hmm. He's going to look us both over. What do they have that we don't have? An elevator for one thing, telephone for another. <laughs> but when he tastes your cooking, Mom, he'll be hooked. That, young lady, is my ace in the hole. Now, I've got a lot of work to do. Where's Billy Joe? Well, let's see. What's number four going to need outside of a new room? <laughs> well, first of all, I could stand some new wallpaper. Oh, you're right. This wallpaper's been up so long, the roses need pruning. <laughs> Number four, new rose pattern wallpaper. <laughs> Repair cracked ceiling. <laughs> Woodwork needs varnishing. <laughs> and I think the hallway can stand a coat of paint. Paint? You expect me to paint the hall, too? And so you don't forget, Billy Joe, give him the notes. Here you are, Uncle Joe. Well, I can't read them chicken scratches. Oh, they're shorthand. I'll transcribe them for you. I like the hotel the way it is. It's kind of got a homey look about it. Shabby, you mean. <laughs> Uncle Joe, we've lost two conventions already, and we can't afford to lose another one. Okay, okay. Would you mind telling me what kind of a convention we're getting ready for? The Benevolent Order of Dolphins. Dolphins. Might have known it had been one of them bird-watching societies. <laughs> Dolphins aren't birds. Hey, why don't you just lower the rates? Pixley Hotel will never be able to compete against that. Look, we are operating on such a narrow margin now that if a guest uses an extra towel, we're in the red. Now, why don't you get on with the painting and I'll go to Sam Drucker's and get the supplies. Oh, the way you're dialing up the shady rest, you'll get that convention for certain. I sure hope so. Seems like we haven't had a convention since the Braddock Company brought out their new line of pearl button spats. <laughs> well, they were great. My ankles ain't been warm since they went out of style. <laughs> you want me to total this up for you now? Uh-uh. Aren't you surprised me the first of the month? That reminds me. A letter come for you in the late mail. Oh, oh, oh. you better have this first. Aspirin? But I don't have a headache. Uh, you will have when you see who the letter's from. <laughs> Tax assessor. Ooh, Sam. Isn't as bad as I thought. They only increased our taxes six dollars. Six dollar increase? Why them filler bustery pork barley feather bedding politicians? Ain't they got nothing better to do than to raise a man's taxes? I don't know what you're getting so steamed up about. I'm the one who has to pay them. Well, it's a good thing I'm around here. You'd let them walk all over you, Kate. Well, Joe, nobody's walking all over me. I expected the taxes to be raised sooner or later. Kate, I ain't taking this lying down. When I get through, the Boston Tea Party will look like a coffee clatch. <laughs> and get this, Mr. Tax Assessor. Joe Carson, the general manager of the Shady Rest Hotel, ain't gonna sit still for no tax squeeze to line some grafting politician's pockets. <laughs> Got that? Uncle Joe, isn't that kind of strong? I'm just getting warmed up. Read back what you got so far. Dear Mr. Tax Assessor. Hold it right there. Scratch out that deer. I want him to know I mean business. <laughs> Kate, you got nothing to worry about. This letter I wrote the tax board to cease to get our taxes lowered. You mind if I read it? Masterpiece, ain't it? That ought to shake him up. It already shook me up. It's not only impolite, impertinent, inaccurate, and impossible, but... Kate, there comes a time when you've got to stand up for your rights. Put your foot down. I am putting my foot down. Leave well enough alone. It's only six dollars. It ain't the money. It's the principal. Uncle Joe, how come with you? It is always the principal and never the money. T-A-X-E-S, <laughs> taxes. A-R-E-R. Or, um, how do you spell outrageous? <laughs> Never saw such a dumb mutt. <laughs> Taxes are, uh, are, uh, T-O-2-H-I-P. 
Hi. Period. There. Women. They don't understand how to handle bureaucrats. It's a good thing they got me around to look after their interests. <laughs> the only tax complaint we received from Hooterville, Miss Starkey? Yes, sir, just the one. Mr. Joe Carson, Shady Rest Hotel. It seems he not only demands we lower his taxes, but claims it's unpatriotic, unconstitutional, un-American, undemocratic, and unlegal. <laughs> unlegal? <laughs> That's a lot of uns. Shall I send him our usual form letter, Mr. Albright? Yeah. Uh, no, on second thought. This one sounds like a real nut. I'd better go out there and handle it personally. Six dollars? Well, what about me picking out the material? I got good taste, ain't I? Uncle Joe, picking curtains is a woman's job. Now, would you please clean up the hotel? I don't want it looking like a depressed area. Come on, girls. Women. They're all alike. Running off when there's work to be done. <laughs> there. What's wrong with this contraption? <laughs> I know, I know. looks like a depressed area. There's only one man to do all the work. <laughs> depressed area. That gives me an idea on how to deal with that tax man. Train's right here, Mr. Forbes. You can go ahead and get on. Floyd and Charlie will be along in a minute. Thank you. Been. And over at the barber shop watching haircuts. Yeah, we watched Dobie Shortridge get his haircut, and then we watched Jed Watson get his yeah, haircut. Yeah, well, some other time, Floyd. You know who just got on that train? Who? Mr. Forbes, the fellow that's going to pick a hotel for the Benevolent Dolphins Convention. Well, don't worry about a thing, Sam. We'll tell Mr. Forbes how great Kate's place is. <laughs> Shady Rest is right up that gently sloping path, Mr. Forbes. Yeah, right by them beautiful roses and hollyhocks. You can't miss it. Thank you, gentlemen. Now, we'll be taking on a little water here at the tank, and if you like, while well, we'll wait and take you to Pixley. If the Shady Rest is one-eighth as good as you fellows say it is, there's no point of my going on to Pixley. <laughs> that ought to bring tears to his eyes. <laughs> I know, I know the train's in. How many times do you have to tell me? <laughs> Somebody's coming, huh? Why didn't you say so? <laughs> Tax man. I knew my letter get action. Sorry, 
I've been meaning to get this fixed. The price of nails is so high, we, we just couldn't see our way clear. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm Whitney Forbes. I, uh, assume you got my letter. Joe Carson, you got mine too, didn't you? Of course, that's why I'm here. Yes. Well, come on in, I'll show you around the lobby. Uh, would you mind giving me a hand with this door? <laughs> Give you the Shady Rest Hotel lobby. <laughs> then I'll say this for it. It's not cluttered. <laughs> Are you remodeling? No. Business is terrible. We had a cold winter. The furniture had to go for firewood. <laughs> the rest... Well, you know how high taxes is nowadays. <laughs> Follow me. We'll go in the dining room. Carson, must we carry the door? I thought you might be hungry. Well, as a matter of fact, I did skip lunch, but what's that got to do with carrying the door? That's our dining room table. <laughs> Swing your hand around there. <laughs> well, it ain't the Ritz, but we don't get many complaints. Of course, we don't get many customers either. <laughs> Here, sit down. I'll see what we got to eat. Some places go in for tea and crumpets, and we kind of go in for the heartier snacks. Go kind of easy on the cream and sugar. We're on emergency rations. <laughs> Get you in and eat, Mr. Forbes. And bonny appetite, as they say in France. <laughs> on second thought, I'd better skip it, Carson. Uh, doctor's orders. No rich gourmet dishes. <laughs> Could I see the rest of the hotel? Sure. <laughs> This is your presidential suite. Yeah. Hey, you'll notice a view. <laughs> All our deluxe rooms have a view. And the bathrooms are way down the hall there. Carson, I've seen enough. You've certainly got your nerve calling this antiquated barn a hotel. I had a hunch you'd say something like that. <laughs> I was led to believe the Shady Rest was the finest hotel in the area. But this place ought to be condemned. Did you put that in your report? Well, I should say so. Good. What? Well, I mean, you're a good, honest man, Mr. Forbes. Between you and me, uh, what do you think our chances are? I've been kind of worried. That's strictly up to the board. But rest assured, Carson, when I get through writing my report, you won't have a thing to worry about. <laughs> beginning to sound like a rummage sale. Sam, what do you think I should do? Well, why don't you get all three? You've gone this far, you may as well go whole hog. Yeah, I, I, I should change all the curtains. And there'll be plenty of material left over for all of us. Yeah, and I just got to land this convention. Then I'll have a new blouse when Edward takes me to the ball game Saturday night. You got to spend money to make money. And I'll look real slinky in this new material. Sam? Wrap them up. Oh! Kate, the Shady Rest is gonna be the most beautiful hotel for miles around. Oh! It must be Kate, I sure had him buffalo. We'll not only get our taxes, Lord, but we may even get some of that war on poverty money. <laughs> Joe, you mean you actually... the, 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 the furniture? All the low down, underhanded, sneaky tricks. Yes, I pulled it. The greatest coup de tat since Napoleon swindled Waterloo. You mean you made that man think that of all the... You're liable to end up in jail. I'm liable to end up. I'm going down there and straighten this right out. Okay, let's not lose our heads. You're liable to throw a monkey wrench into the works. I'm liable to throw a monkey wrench at you. You straighten up this hotel before the convention man gets here. Is that clear? Katie, if you, if you just listen to me... Not I... another word. I'll deal with you when I get back, you... tax dodger, you... Coming, coming. <laughs> Come here a minute. Why you 
dumb dog. That bell for official business only. <laughs> Uncle Joe, there's someone coming up the path. It's that convention man. I'll give him the super deluxe tour. Girls. <laughs> Welcome to the Waldorf of the West, convention headquarters of the nation. Joe Carson, manager of this high-class establishment. I'm J.C. Albright. I was requested to inspect the Shady Rest Hotel. It's a nice-looking place you have here. You ain't seen nothing yet. Mighty handsome lobby. Yeah, practically everything in it's a priceless antique. Furnishings alone worth a fortune. Is that so? We had no idea. You note that members of our huge staff are constantly busy keeping the place spotless. <laughs> Girls. <laughs> now, you'll notice here we've got every service you could ask for. Racetrack information? Oh, sure. Yeah, we got every convenience, too. New elevator ought to be in most any day now. We're converting to one of them high-speed jobs. A high-speed elevator in a two-story building? Well, we got a high second floor. This staircase is genuine imported solid mahogany. Better make a note of that. Mr. Carson, I hardly expected such cooperation. You're certainly giving me the facts. That's why they call me Honest Joe Carson. <laughs> this pie is delicious. My compliments to Mrs. Bradley. She's an excellent cook. Well, she should be. She studied in the Louvre in Paris. <laughs> Girls, look in our fully automated kitchen and see if the imported caviar and champagne's got here yet. <laughs> well, I must admit, you have quite a place here, Mr. Carson. Well, you see our recreation area. We're thinking of buying 50 more acres, putting in swimming pools, tennis courts, maybe even a landing strip. <laughs> An additional 50 acres, eh? Mr. Carson, it appears you have a prosperous operation. I can't complain. <laughs> How's it look to you? Fine. I'll submit my report and we'll take it under advisement, Mr. Carson. Goodbye, Mr. Albright. Gee, Uncle Joe, you sure did a selling job on Mr. Albright. You sure did. Boy, I'll say. Just like taking candy from a baby. You girls can knock off now. The convention's in the bag. your turn. <laughs> when on earth will that train get here? <laughs> You're very optimistic. I was wondering if. <laughs> All aboard, folks. All aboard what? Well, the cannonball's down the track about a quarter of a mile, and for the time being, this close, we're going to get to the depot. Why? Well, the station master's cat's having her kittens on the track. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Don't you have any respect for motherhood? <laughs> Probably just as well you dolphins ain't having your convention at Kate's place. You're not Mr. Forbes. I certainly am. Well, I'm Kate Bradley of the Shady Rest. You have my deepest sympathy. <laughs> How anyone in his right mind could call that place a hotel without a stick of furniture, windowless rooms. Oh, for heaven's sakes, then you're the... Well, Uncle Joe thought... Oh, no. <laughs> Mr. Forbes, uh, th there was a mistake. There certainly was. <laughs> now, uh, you've just got to see the Shady Rest again. I know you'll change your mind. I'm afraid not, Mrs. Bradley. 
Uh, we can be just as stubborn as you are, Mr. Forbes, and the cannonball ain't budging past the shady rest till you have another look. I can bypass your miserable railroad. I'll just take a taxi to the county seat. Not till you have another look at the shady rest. Boys, boys! We're just giving them the soft sell, Kate. <laughs> be careful. Oh, no. My name's Albright. Well, we don't carry Albright. We carry shiny gloss, though. <laughs> Get away from those biscuits. I'll wait on you as soon as I've finished with this customer. What? I said I'm the tax assessor. Now, look, I'm coming back out to the Shady Rest. Please leave a message for someone to be there. It's important. Tax assessor? Why didn't you say so? OK, I'll get word to him. Take this to the Shady Rest. Now, hurry. All right, all right. Here. Now go on. And don't stop for a snack along the way. <laughs> Biscuits. If you wake a man up just to give him that, <laughs> least you could done would bring me some cigars. <laughs> oh. Tax man's coming back. to the hotel, Mr. Forbes. You won't believe your eyes. Perhaps I was a bit hasty. Oh, I know you'll reconsider. Now, see for yourself. <laughs> this is what it comes to according to my figures, Mrs. Bradley. Well, that's certainly a load off of my mind. What's that, Kate? Oh, you uh, must have met Mr. Carson, general manager of the Shady Rest, who just landed a convention for the Pixley Hotel. <laughs> that was a natural mistake, Kate, that anybody could have made. Oh, not anybody, Uncle Joe. Just you. It seems we made a mistake, too, Mr. Carson, on your tax bill over the past 10 years. You did? Yes. You were overcharged and have a refund coming of $126. Gives me pleasure to present you with this check, Mrs. Bradley. Well, thank you, Mr. Albright. This uh, almost makes up for losing the convention. You mean we're getting money back? That's right. That letter you wrote called it to our attention. You see, Kate? You got me to thank for that. I told you it took a man of praise to have Oh, the for heaven's sake. <laughs> Junction. This has been a Filmways presentation.